In this video, what I'm going to show you is how to set up your very first project if you've never done anything in Premiere Pro. Uh, this will be all new to you. I've done the previous tutorial with you, and um, here we are in the opening of Premiere Pro. I'm just going to jump over to the File Explorer here, and I'm going to show you what I've done. Here's our project template, our sample one that we've worked on in previous tutorials, and then I've got a new one called Project One Photo Montage. So you'll need to create this by copying your project template. Inside of this, I've got the two folders that uh, the project template does. There's nothing in finished video right now because we haven't done anything. And then under Assets, um, if you look under Pictures, I have a number of pictures of cars. And I actually want you to make sure that you go to the internet. You can either use Firefox or Chrome and download those pictures of uh, 15 different things uh, that are similar. So some sort of a, a theme here because we're going to make a photo montage out of this. Okay. so. Again, there's no video yet because we haven't actually done anything with this. So let's jump over to Premiere Pro. Let's set up our file. Okay, let's click on New Project because that's what we're doing here. We're going to call this Project 1. And it's Photo Montage. Let's see if I can spell that right. And we're going to put in your name. Now I'm going to call it John Smith because that's what we've been doing so far. Okay, now we remember we want to make sure we save it under the D drive, but we're going to save it under that new um, project folder. So we're going to come up here to project photo montage and we just click on it once here. Uh, if it opens up like this, make sure you leave it in this so you can see both the assets in the finished video and select folder. Uh, where it says video rendering, make sure it doesn't read GPU acceleration. It says engine software only, Mercury playback engine software only. And then we'll go ahead and say OK and it'll take a second for it to set up. OK, so here we are in our actual setup. And what I want to do now is we're going to import our pictures. So there's a number of ways of doing this, as I showed you in a previous tutorial. Uh, the quickest way is actually to navigate in uh, using the Windows Explorer, go into the picture, and just drag them in. And when you do that, they come in inside a bin already. Now, if you don't want to do it that way, there's another way of doing it. And I'm just going to delete these. So we're just going to uh, select these and say clear. So what I can do is double click down here and I can then navigate to that particular folder. I can then go control A and we'll then go open and then all the pictures come in uh, as individual files. Then I'd have to create a bin by clicking on this little icon and we're going to call these pics. And then I drag each of these pictures into the picture folder. I find that really tedious, so I'm just going to back up a few. And we're going to go, and there's my picture folder. I just went Control-Z a few times. OK, Control-S to save it. Go ahead and get to this point, and then I'll show you the next steps.